So we're doing Hacker Jeopardy again. Uh, for those of you, who, sorry, oh, I don't know the song. Oh no! I don't know the spell Jeopardy. April Bruce. Correct. Uh, presumably, I don't actually need Hacker. I think it's probably just the Jeopardy thing or something. Oh yeah, apparently this is an integral part of Hacker Jeopardy, so I'm just going to play this song. This is on my data, so this is how committed I am. So going through. What? <laughs> you going out? Cool, sure. I'm actually logged into YouTube here, so hopefully nothing weird pops up on the side for suggestions. Sorry? It's too loud. Okay guys, um, as committed as we are to that, that was brilliant. Uh, Hopefully that has satisfied you. Okay, so last year it didn't work so well because it was in a PowerPoint. This year we kind of put it into like a, a website, but it's also using a game engine because uh, one of my colleagues who is a bit of a hipster designed it. So it's like some weird game engine in HTML. So I don't have, I'm not able to tell you that it will work, but we think it will. Um, as you can see, the formatting is a bit off. It's not going to be perfect. Just embrace it. So the categories we have are DFI or something. I couldn't think of anything cool there. Uh, know thy network, so obviously networking questions, uh, just command line things, so these are like um, syntax for tools, um, not all necessarily uh, tools in Caddy, uh, just random tools that you might use um, in security, and what's that vuln, that's just going to be source code, so if you, can ident if you think you can identify the vuln from source code, then yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, um, should we maybe just split into two teams, because they're I think that probably makes more sense. Um, so we're just going to split down the middle. This way, I think. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Cool. John, go on that side. Thank you. OK. Um, someone from this side can start. Uh, Ross wants to start. OK, Ross, uh, which, which would you like to start with? Uh, no, that network's 100. All right. Okay. Oh, right. Sorry, guys. I forgot to actually ask. Um, because it's Jeopardy, you need to answer with a question. So I don't, don't have any examples here, but you need to answer with a question. Otherwise, you lose all your points. So just, just bear that in mind. Uh, Craig? Um, Technically correct, but not what I'm looking for. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so I was chatting to some dude earlier who was saying classes aren't a thing anymore uh, in networking. Uh, oh, that dude right over there. Yeah, so go fight him. You're wrong. Sorry, Craig. Uh, <laughs> Did I screw this up? These don't look right at all. Yeah, these aren't even close to right, guys. Let's actually just skip over this. I'm going to assign all the points to Team 4. These were meant to be non-rootable IPs, like private IPs. But I don't know where the fuck I literally have no idea what happened there. Sorry? Oh, yeah, well, that's what I said. That's why I specified, like, private IPs. Because, yeah, non-rootable IP isn't great. Okay, we didn't start off great, but we're going to get better, guys. Yeah, that was an example. We've all learned. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna continue stronger. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Craig, you can, you can start this time. Two hundred. I'll accept quite a lot of things here. On Sunday. Cool. Wait. Okay. You guys are team one. You guys are team two. Cool. Team one. Team two gets the points. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, volatility. But I would have accepted any um, any common tool, um, depending on what people wanted. Like Redline. Uh, what else is there? Never heard of that. But yeah, if, if enough people seem convinced, I'll totally take it. I don't do IR at all, so I really struggle with this category. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I only, only look at pretty things, so I would have struggled with that one. All right, uh, Craig. I don't actually know how you meant to decide who chooses. Craig, choose something. Two hundred. <laughs> cool. I'll I'll take it. Uh, team one, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just figured Andrew would definitely know what his own transfer was, so I that's why I targeted him with this one. Um, we we got some examples, but then we were googling. Chris and I were doing this last night, and it turns out zone transfer is actually illegal. Some dude went to jail for doing his own transfer in 2008. So we didn't want to give an actual example. This won't work, but you're welcome to try. Um, yeah, so in case you didn't hear, the answer is his own transfer. Um, so this is just dig, just dig syntax to request his own transfer. Um, who answered that? Team one. Yeah. Team one. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how Jeopardy is meant to work. Someone from team two just fixed something. Ooh. Really? That's awful. Okay. Oh, oh. Go on line 400. Okay, so obviously I've made the tool name tool name, otherwise it would be too obvious. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so if you didn't hear, that was SQL map. Um, pretty obvious. I uh, don't know why I made that one 400. I did this last night, so I wasn't really concentrating. Uh, okay, Craig, you're up. Oh, hold on, there was a... The <laughs> you got to put your hand up, bro. I'm going to have to halve the score. <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> I think the most important thing to remember is that I'm the person in charge, Andrew. <laughs> Alright, someone from team two, a random person from team two, wanna pick something? Yeah, I, I changed the rules to you, so I thought you were, weren't you keeping up? Brian. Alright, I didn't know there was another Brian I was pointing to someone else, but cool. No, that network's 400, alright. Um, so, the, the first hand was, was Craig in team two. Sorry? Well, there's LDAP. Yes, correct. So LDAP runs on 389. I wasn't actually sure many people would get that, but Craig seemed to get it instantly. What a legend. Go team two. You guys are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, you're up. I think this one was pretty dumb, if I recall. Um, yeah, this one should be hard, I think. No, it's not that hard. Brian? Incorrect, Brian. Yeah, oh, that's that's double penalized. Uh, yes, correct, Jason. Uh, full points. Uh, so yeah, the, the answer is use after free. I wasn't actually sure how to represent to use after free, so I just did it, and then I freed it, and then I did it again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jason's actually explained to me how use after freeze are exploitable at some point, but Re really interesting though, Jason's pretty smart. Um, okay, team one, you get full full points there, congrats. Yeah, so I can't actually halve points from the other team, because I didn't think about that um, as a use case. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Jason, you're up. No, that network's 300, all right. Craig? Go Craig, yeah, so the answer's R. Um, this is just what an R packet looks like. Um, 
All right, Craig, you're up. Oh yeah, so apparently this is incorrect. Apparently classes aren't a thing. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, apparently class B is something. I don't know. I'm, if you say class B, everyone knows what you mean. So I, I'm going to just go on that. Um, but yeah, so uh, things typically uh, multicast in, in this class B or slash 16. Class D. I have no idea what a class E is. <laughs> Slash 11. Hmm. Hmm. Do we give them points, Chris? So, 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 so the question, the question is what, which class B do things typically multicast in? Like, like, if, if, does that actually make sense? So if you were to divide IPs up into a slash 16, yeah. <laughs> 500. <laughs> I'm almost certain this question makes sense. So like, <laughs> if you were to divide an IP address up into like octets, right? The first two, yes. That's a slash 16, right? Which is a class B. So, <laughs> all right, I think I'm going to assign all of the points to myself. Thank you guys, it's been real. I'm going to choose the next question. Um, Alrighty, what's that Vuln 100? Anyone? Okay. Uh, John. I like it, that was really nice. Cruise, you dickheads. All right. <laughs> Let's go, John. 300. All righty. Okay. Hold on. Can we all just, just take a second? There will be no disagreement on this damn question. Thank you. Continue. <laughs> uh, I think, were you first, Masande? Yes. Woohoo. That's a bird. It's cuckoo. Cuckoo sandbox. It's really great. Always. All right. Onwards, Masande. 300, okay. What's that bomb 300? So this one's a little bit more subtle. Um, I definitely checked this though, so it actually runs. You'll have to excuse me for the blank SQL uh, statement earlier. Andrew has a PHP dev, you're welcome to come. Yeah, Dan? Yes, woohoo, cross-site scripting. One of the coolest vowels in the world. You're up, Dave. Dane. What's that vowel 400? <laughs> I was told I shouldn't put this one in. So if, <laughs> if you guys hated the other ones. Oh, sorry. Uh, incorrect. Yes, Miss Sunday. Is it? No. That would be sick. <laughs> Just read it. Take your time, guys. Take your time. There might be other bonds in this code. I believe I wrote most of it. Jason. Where? Should I be halving the score? Are you meant to halve the score when someone gets something wrong? I'm way too young for Jeopardy. Let's 
Let's just think about the if and the else, guys. If and the else. John. Yes. Woohoo! It's quite clearly username enumeration because it differs based on whether it's in the database or not. Come on, guys. I'm just going to halve the score a lot for that one, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, you're up. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if this will compile, Andrew. Uh, I wish I could give points without breaking the flow of this because it's actually a game. I wouldn't put it past myself. They might even be missing a new line here. Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely missing a new line there. That should definitely be a new line. Um, a Sunday you were first and then there was a hole by the time. I know you just asked me actual questions. I think they were playing Jeopardy, dude. <laughs> I don't know how C works. I think Brian and then Jason. Um, you. <laughs> so when I copy pasted this from my actual document, it seems there were some huge fuck ups. So like. <laughs> This here is, this is definitely meant to be buff and not char128. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, yes, it's, a, it's meant to be a buff overflow. No, I, I've, I've dicked this up. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where half this stuff came from. Yeah, past it 128. Uh, I, I don't have an excuse for that one, guys. Or the missing new line. All right. Um, yeah, but pass equals one doesn't do anything. Yeah, the, the, how is that going to make anything? We we rewrote EIP like ages ago, guys. All right, was that one? Yeah, that was team one. I'm going to halve the score though. All right. <laughs> um, Ross, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to let someone else get a go. Uh, one of you guys, your hands are up. <sighs> Correct. What is TCP dump? That was the answer. In case no one heard. Okay. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Chris, you're not allowed to answer this. Craig, I don't think you're allowed to either. So this is an easier way of getting domain trusts than PowerShell. If you can't use PowerShell. Craig, you're allowed to answer it. <laughs> um, I mean, you can. It's not going to work. <laughs> I don't want to stop you, though. I think that's the most important thing. It's important to be supportive of people. Uh, is no one going to get this? OK, Chris, you're allowed to answer. And I'll test, yeah. So this is actually really sweet. You don't have to use PowerShell to enumerate domain trust. I don't know how many people actually work in OPSEC here. I, I see Dane and like my colleagues. So yeah, uh, that's really sweet if, you, if you're trying to enumerate domain trust without using um, actual recon scripts. So, Half points to Chris. All right, Chris, you're up. <laughs> this isn't a Windows event ID. <laughs> I'll totally buy you a beer if you know this off by heart. Sorry? 
No, there's a there's a great article on this event ID. As with everything, pretty much. MSDN's great. <laughs> Chris is busy Googling. You guys are allowed to Google, I guess. <laughs> is there no one who does IR here? Hand went up. Uh, sort of, yes, correct, kind of. Woohoo! Yes, so I got my question. Are you, are you on team one or two? Team three. All right, the points were assigned to team four. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> uh, would you like to... Okay, um, so this is sort of like a class of things. Um, these are all separate, ish, uh, separate entries. Don't think of them in the same way. <laughs> Some of you might see something that is quite dear to you. <laughs> Craig. Correct. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so the, oh, I can't go back. Those were just different ways of getting persistence, so like registry keys you can set, um, and then set, also setting a, <laughs> setting a task as, as auto. That exe is something um, very dear to, to some of us. Uh, Craig, you're up. All right. <sighs> Jason. That's what I thought, and then I checked last night, and it does. I, d I don't make the rules, Chris. I just follow them, kind of, when I want to. <laughs> NC does have a dash, dash SSL. I thought it didn't until last night. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Sorry? I could have literally... That would be weird, though. Sorry? NC based on NCAT. I've always used MCAT for SSL before, so yeah. Oh fuck, I misspelled SSL. It's been... Oh, we lost. All right. <laughs> On to the last one. Uh, yes, woohoo! Um, okay, guys, it's been real fun. Um, I think we've all learned many things. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for your contributions. Um, uh, we, we're going to see now. Um, no, I think my NC is just simlinked. Uh, <laughs> All right, I, yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a real great day, guys. Uh, the, we're going to reveal the final scores now. Um, so I guess... <laughs> so, I mean, it's not sorted. <laughs> I thought it was going to be sorted. <laughs> Uh, so somehow, even though Team 1 got so many more right, uh, Team 2 uh, appears to win. Uh, you guys don't get anything. Uh, all we got was the enjoyment and the, the time we had together, uh, which I think is more important than, than gifts, really. Um, so I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to apologize to Andrew for being incorrect about NC. Um, I don't know why the fuck my NC simlink though, bro. Um, sorry? Oh, really? Uh, this isn't Ubuntu, this is Fedora. Or whatever it's called. Um, but that means, by default, you've got Nmap installed. Right? Okay, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so if you simlink, it's, yeah, yeah, no, that's correct. Um, you still wouldn't have won, though. Sorry? Yes. No, no, like, literally, it, it, lit, it is. Like, this is, uh, check. Yeah, I was tired. That's my excuse, guys. Yeah, like, literally at the top, it's, it says this is the NCAT man page, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even matter if you won, guys. Come on. <laughs> I don't think anyone really won today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope we all had fun, guys. Um, it seems there might be some tweaks which need to be made <laughs> to this. Maybe someone who isn't incompetent can do it next year, you know, like, <laughs> just, just minor things. All right, cool. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, I think we're going to some place that is quite close but not in walking distance for drinks. If anyone's keen. Yeah, yeah, sure. Technically, most things are in walking distance. Um, I wouldn't, though. If I was just trying to give you a recommendation. Don't walk. It's, it's pretty far. We did that last year. Yes. Sorry? Um, you got... What? I'm so confused. I'm genuinely confused. Seven. Yes, correct. Seven. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with that. Cool, guys. Thanks a lot. Um, this was real fun. Real fun. <laughs>